Hello, Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Uh, this lecture is related to the uh, how are we going to design the shear link when the beam is a uh, flange beam. In the flange beam, like T or L beam, the design of shear link consists of two uh, type of link that is vertical link and transverse link. The vertical link is for the a rectangular part while the transverse link is at the flange part. In the last section we have uh, uh, covered that vertical link and now we have to consider the transverse link to avoid the shear failure between the interface of the rectangular part and the flange as can be seen in the diagram. Shear between web and flange happen when there are force called FD from the outside load and um, it is will be resisted by the strut in compression in the flange uh, called VE, VRD max. This concrete strut in flange or VRD max uh, happen uh, and make an angle to the uh, horizontal to the um, surface of interface called theta f and theta f will depend on the um, certain values the value of the vrd is shown in equation 9 which de uh, depend on the uh, concrete uh, uh, stress times with the area Theta F will depend on the um, certain values. For example, if the compression happen at the flange, so the theta will be between 26.5 degrees to 45 degrees, while for the uh, tension happen at the flange, theta F will be range between 38.6 to 45 degrees. mentioned earlier FD is forced from the applied load so here we need to concern about the variation of the uh, FD or Delta FD from Delta FD we got the stress at the interface called VED and it's depend on the the distance of Delta X VD is calculated at the distance of delta x, where delta x is the half of the distance between maximum moment to the moment zero. If the flange beam is simple support, delta x is equal L over 4. That is half uh, of the maximum moment to the m equal to zero. The moment at delta x section uh, can be calculated by using the equilibrium of moment as shown in equation 12 and after we got this delta m then we input it at equation 11 for delta ftd <music> figure shows the arrangement of the transverse reinforcement uh, across the along the beam This picture shows the arrangement of transverse shear reinforcement in the cross section. It can be seen that transverse shear reinforcement will be accompanied by minimum steel. The design procedure for the uh, shear of transverse link is shown in this slide. Uh, the first is we need to calculate VED, that is uh, stress at the interface due to external load then compare the VED the stress at the interface with the uh, tensile character, characteristic tensile stress in a concrete if VED or the stress at interface less than 0 0.27 FCTK then uh, non-shear reinforcement will be required 
then we only uh, proceed with the determination of the minimum link. While if uh, uh, the shear stress at the interface greater than 0 0.27 FCTK, then we need to find the VRD max. Characteristic of concrete tensile stress or FCTK can be obtained from table 3.1 and it depends on the strength design classes of concrete. Next uh, is the calculation of the RD max for the uh, if VED uh, greater than uh, 0 0.27 FCTK according to the given formula and we have two range of VRD max between theta uh, f of 26.5 to 45 degrees then the calculation of theta f will be calculated using the given formula this is, the method is similar with the design of vertical link for the uh, rectangular section is the determination of the transverse shear reinforcement according to the equation uh, given where we need to find ASF divided SF. ASF is the area of the um, transverse shear reinforcement while SF is the distance between them. And the provided transverse shear reinforcement must be compared with the minimum amount of transverse steel given in the equations. This chart further simplified on the method how to design the transverse link uh, step by step. Now we have an example for our uh, L beam, inverted L beam, simply spotted with the size given there. Uh, the question is that uh, find the vertical shear transverse link and detailing at section AA. So here we need to design first for the vertical shear link and the minimum link. So uh, the procedure is similar with the rectangular. Uh, in this question, the VED is 145. So we need to calculate the VRD max for the vertical links. And we found that uh, the VED uh, less than uh, VRD max theta of 22 degrees therefore we assume that theta is 22 degrees okay we need to design the shear link according to the formula given asw over s ved divided 0 0.7 fik d cot theta with theta 22 degrees so we have uh, we try with h8 and we have a uh, s 267 and it is less than the maximum therefore we use H8 250 while the minimum link we got the H8 300 okay, now we design for the uh, transverse steel part so uh, in the design of transverse steel we need to find first is the delta X so this is simply spotted uh, beam so the maximum will be at uh, at the center of the span L over 2 therefore the maximum moment to the zero moment the, the distance is L over 2 therefore delta x is half of it so we got delta x is equal L over 4 remember this delta x is only for the simply spotted if you got continuous beam then it will be different then delta m will be calculated uh, using the uh, formula of the moment equilibrium that we have 163 kilonewton from, from delta m we need to calculate delta fd to get the force due to the external load so the equation uh, unfortunately this equation is not listed in the design formula so you you need to remember them So after that, we find VED or stress at interface uh, with the, the, the design formula given in the, in the design formula. 
and then we compare with the 0 0.27 FCTK. So in this case, the VED is less than 0 0.27 FCTK, therefore, transverse shear reinforcement is not required. Although the transverse shear reinforcement is not required, however, we still need to find what is the minimum transverse steel using the minimum area of steel as given in the design formula. Again, the FCTM can be obtained from the table 3.1 before. Therefore, the provided uh, minimum area of transverse steel uh, we sele uh, selected as HA300 with the area 168, which is greater than AS minimum. The minimum of the area of transverse steel can be obtained in table B, where table B here is the area per meter, the, the spacing millimeter square, the area of uh, reinforcement millimeter square per meter and lastly we need to draw the detailed drawing and showing uh, the link and also the transverse steel as shown in the picture